Okay, I just wanted to take a few seconds and go over a few of the problems of a Kenwood TM732A. That's it right there. It's the faceplate. And I just wanted to go over a couple of problems that I found that I just fixed. I wish I would have actually recorded the entire fix, but that was definitely not the possible. Anyway, I had a ribbon cable went bad. This ribbon cable goes to the front face plate and if you can tell it split right if you can, can't see it, apologize but you can see it pulled away So, anyway, unfortunately, there's no way to find another one of these unless you find a junk radio. But they definitely don't carry them. I looked. I spent several hours looking. So it goes between the face plate and the, and the main board right here. So the only way to fix that, as you can see, is 20 wires. Just have to go through, painstakingly replace each one of them and uh, you must pull this board off the they are through hole so you can push the wires down too far and they will short out, out on the chassis so you do have to remove this board there's no problem removing this board all you got to do is re remove the two solder joints for the antenna and then the uh, amplifier stage you just got to remove one two three four there and these two posts remove those two posts the solder on those two posts and then it'll lift right out there is a connector on the back side that will plug in it'll just come right out if you lift the front up slowly lift the front up after you take out these screws right there everything will just come right out so there was also another problem I wanted to address and that was the if it doesn't power on um, if the radio doesn't power on or gives you some funny looking features on the display uh, maybe only one half works or something there is a fix out there on the internet but what it is is a leaky capacitor that's on this board here um, I wish I could take it apart and show you, but just know that it is out there. If it doesn't turn on, look for that. Um, look for that fix. It's a leaky capacitor that actually leaked into a through hole, and it eats the through hole up. And I repaired it with just a wire. Just run a wire straight through the board to fill. It's a via hole that goes through the board. <clears throat> just uh, fill that. Put a wire in there and uh, clear all the capacitor off, replace the capacitor. Uh, but the electrolytic stuff crap came out of the capacitor and of a surface mount capacitor and it just ate the crap out of the the hole, the via, the, from one side of the board to the next. So look for that. Um, other than that, I think uh, that's all I've got to, oh, one more thing is this here is the tone, um, the tone board that you, not all of the radios come with those tone boards, but if they do and you see it in there, you better be very careful when you go to remove that thing off or you'll be resoldering the, which is no problem, but you better have expert soldering skills to solder that connector back down to the board and solder the connector onto the the TU7 board. That TU7 board, the connector pulls off of it really easy and uh, repairing it is out of the question. You just got to remove the connector, um, which is pretty easy with expert soldering, sk soldering skills and clean the contacts off it won't pull up any traces when it pulls apart it's just the connector pulls away from the board really easy and you can't just touch it up and solder it because it doesn't like the pins 
on the uh, connector itself are oxidized or something and solder is not sticking to it very well. So you've just completely, you got to pull the board off, pull the connector off this board, pull the connector off the TU7 board and refix the pads, resolder the pads and put it on there. It's pretty easy. Polarity is only one way. There's four pins on one side, five pins on the other. Same way with the pads on the board and the TU7 board. So no biggie. Anyway, that's about all I got for you. Um, if you want to replace the memory, there's the memory battery right here. It's pretty easy to get down to this. The faceplate just goes over the top of it. Leave your leave your uh, metal things on. You don't need to take those off. Just take the two screws off on the side, and this will just lift right out. And then you can replace your memory battery right there. Okay, that's it for this one. Thank you, bye.